You know, ever since I started doing big things on the internet, I always get the same comparison. Sean, you are really, literally, the Oprah of guitar YouTube. So in the true spirit of Oprah, I'm gonna be giving away a bunch of Dunlop Trigger Fly capos. Sweetwater and Dunlop sent me 20 capos just to give out. So we're just gonna go around Los Angeles giving capos to different musicians and learning some nice capo tips and tricks along the way while also getting to experience my, my inner Oprah giveaway. So let's see what we got. Come on with me. Hey, Lucy. Hey. Uh, so do I remind you of any TV talk show personalities? Uh, TV talk show? Like, you know, like the joy that you get from being part of something bigger than yourself. Everybody in the audience, now listen to me carefully. You get a call! Like a sure. like a famous female Chicago talk show personality. Does anything come to mind when you hang out with me? Ellen's not from. No, Chicago. not Ellen. No, Oprah. You're not oh, getting Oprah God. vibes from this. Oh yes, you're exactly. Well, right. if you don't have Oprah Let's vibes yet, yeah, why don't you check under your chair, Lucy? Under this. Yeah, the the chair is sitting in. Just check under your chair. Check, What's check, just, chair? I don't know, why don't you check? See what's happening. Be well, we're in your house, but while you were out tending the dog. Oh my God. <laughs> it's a Dunlop capo. How about that? Uh, yeah. pretty, pretty good, huh? This is impressive. It only took 10 pieces of scotch tape to get it up. There's literally so much tape. That's for you wow. from Sweetwater and Dunlop. I love it. This is actually, very, this is actually very handy. Do you have capo tips? For the people? Uh, oh yeah, um, use capos, and then you never have to learn any more chords. You just play the same chord and you capo it, and then it goes up a step in that. Again, I don't want to condone your lack of <laughs> musical education that you're trying to foist on the people, but uh, yeah, capos are, are great to have. And do you have a favorite fret? Favorite capo favorite fret? fret? Oh, I love the third fret. Mm. Gotta love the third. Third fret. fretter. Yeah. Solid. Third fretter. Yeah. Also the fifth fret, because play a lot of ukulele, F so you got that. And for the why is why is that uh, a ukulele thing? Because the ukulele is tuned five keys up. It's is it sure like that. that's what yeah is it's like it? if you're playing a guitar on the it's fifth higher. fret the highest four strings that's all a uke is. Wow, thank you, Oprah. Yeah. I mean, Sean. <laughs> it's it's a common you. common mistake. Mm. Here we are at Romantic Redondo Beach. Yes, thank you for inviting me here. I'm <laughs> taking you here to give you a Dunlop capo. Oh Courtesy of the good people at Dunlop. Oh, there, just what I always There you wrong. go, buddy. Thanks, Dunlop. Samurai guitarist. You gave me one of these last time we hung out. Now let me see that. All right, on the hunt to give away another capo. Oh, here's a here's a gold wrapped Mercedes. I bet this guy's a a musician. Let's see what we got. Uh, hello, sir. Are you a musician? Do you play guitar? Oh yeah, allegedly I do. How'd you know? Ah, uh, you just it just looked like the vibe. Oh, it's the I've got some for this is a capo from from Dunlop. Oh my god. But here you go. That's it. Oh my it. god. Do you have any uh, capo tips for the people? I guess the tip would be like when you clamp it, put it the closest to the fret. Wow, almost as if it were a finger. Almost, yeah. That, All right. That would be my tip. All right, well, enjoy that fine capo, oh, sir. Oh, thank you I'll, so I'll much. Be, I'll be traveling on. Thank you. All right, I found these random guys in an alleyway, and I'm giving them all capos. Yes. You, George, you get a capo. <laughs> Mike Bradley, you get a capo. Yes. Andrew, you get a capo. Uh, there we go. Capos for everyone. Any key, they work in all keys. Thank you, Dunlop. Thank you, Sweetwater. All right, heading to the outdoor b-ball court. Give away another capo on the streets of L.A. All right, I got my man Ryan here. Just gave him the capo. On the courts here... I'm gonna need an NBA Finals prediction for you. Uh, Celtics will not lose another game uh, in the 2023 season. Oh my gosh, that's that's a hot take <laughs> right there. All right, well, Mark it. we'll see how that ages. <laughs> Amy, I've got a gift for you. You do? It's a Dunlop capo from Sweetwater. Oh, I don't have one of these. Well, see, now, now you got it. Now I do. And now we can like rock it, rock it out. Rocking and rolling and whatnot. Ready to rock it out together? I'm ready to rock it out. All right. Okay, which one do I put on? I'll put it on mine first, and then you can just flex with the guitar. All right. And then we can do 30 seconds right, of only exception. Good. When I was younger, I saw my daddy cry and curse 
So you put it on four. Four. Yep. All right. So I just gifted Brian Lee White a fabulous Dunlop capo. What are you going to use it for? Well, uh, you need a capo if you're setting up your guitar to check your next relief, your truss rod. Um, pretty easy. Just put the capo on first fret there. Okay. And then you find where the neck meets the body. Usually it's around 17th fret on an electric guitar. Um, this is a multi-scale <laughs> guitar with squiggly frets, but yep. same thing. You're going to go ahead and you're going to push your finger down there. Uh, and if you have feeler gauges, feeler gauges just allow you to measure the distance. So you're going to look at the eighth fret here. Um, you don't really need feeler gauges. All you need to do is just kind of tap, right? So you, you want there to be a tiny little bit of play, but right? you don't want it to be stuck, right? That means you've kind of got to back bow, but if there's too much play when you're tapping it, like it buts, it's like, whoa, 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 that means you've got too much relief and okay. you probably want to adjust one way or, or the other based on that. Via the truss rod. Via the truss rod, correct. <laughs> and why can't you do this without a capo? Well, the problem is you need to basically, because you're looking at sort of, you need to fret at the first fret, right? And so how, I mean, unless you had a friend and you, Right. Have, have your buddy, have your buddy <laughs> you have hold your buddy the first hold fret it. for you? I've seen guys do this. This is kind of like where they'll use their elbow <laughs> and, and they'll use their, they'll do that. Hmm. That's a little... It's not an elegant solution. It's not elegant, but it'll do in a pinch. Right on. You know, you can also just kind of sight it too and see... You look cool doing that. You look a lot cooler doing that, sure. right? You, uh -huh. can, you can actually see the relief pretty easily when you get it at a certain angle. You just kind of look down the the edge where the frets kind of meet the, the well, fretboard. Well, there you go. So that's a practical reason that you need a Dunlop capo that doesn't even involve playing. Need it. Sure did learn a lot from everybody. Now, I do want to leave you with another capo tip. One of my favorite things, and one reason that I've started to use a capo, because I've, I've gone through waves of capo stuff, right? For a while there, I was like, you know, a real guitarist should just learn how to play all the chords in any key. It's like, yeah, sure, but like, there are a lot of different reasons why you'd want to use a capo. One cool reason is down tuning your guitar and then just getting the sound of down tuned strings in a regular key, right? So right now this guitar is in like really cool weird tuning. It's C, G, C, E, A, D, right? And there's something about just having that like, That, that detuned sound of a guitar where the strings are just kind of just loose. And they have a specific sound, right? Now, the cool thing is, is, all right, this is tuned into like C, G, C, E, A, D. All right, so it's kind of like, you can think of that as like a type of open C, but let's say I still want to keep it in something more like E, I can just go C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. And then now, I can kind of get that same, I still I still maintain the integrity of loose strings, which again, it's not for everybody. Some people don't like the sound of that, but again, I'm from like the school of Elliot Smith. And 
I still get that like low string rattle because I'm using a capo and I wouldn't be able to do that without having a capo. I'd have to like really use some kind of like intense bar chords and stuff like that going on. So anyways, thank you to Sweetwater. Thank you to Dunlop for allowing me to do this video and kind of just giving, you know, giving my inner Oprah a chance to really uh, show out on the streets. And like I said, there'll be an affiliate link in the description for these. Again, it's just, they're great gifts for musicians. It's kind of funny. It's like literally every musician I talk to and I said, hey, do you want, do you want one of these capos? All of them were like, oh yeah, not a single one. And I know that all of them probably already had capos. Not a single one was like, oh, no thanks. I've already got a couple. Everybody could use extra capos just to keep in like their gig bag. So again, this is just uh. You know, a very inexpensive tool to have around helps me out if you use the affiliate link in the description. And uh, like I said, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comment section, Instagram, the website, and I will talk to you all soon. Thanks a lot.